Hey everybody, Dr. Hess from PDMom.com here. I threw up a post today asking for questions that you guys um, wanted some answers to. I figured I should start doing that every once in a while. And I wanna try to answer these questions in three-ish minutes. So that's what I'm doing today. So I got a question about um, bunk bed safety, which is a great question because we see tons of kids in the pediatric ER. Um, from injuries off of the top bunk. So the question was how safe are bunk beds and what age should kids be able to be on the top bunk? Um, so I'm going to chat real quick about that three minutes. If it's super loud, I apologize because I am right outside the ER. Lots of stuff is happening. So um, I'll do my best to make sure that I'm speaking loudly. So um, injuries from bunk beds. We see approximately 36 thousand injuries in kids from bunk beds per year so that's a ton a good portion of those the majority are head and neck injuries um, followed by broken bones um, and about half of those injuries are from from children six and under um, so that's where we get the rough age of saying that a child should be at least six years of age give or take depending on their developmental stage and their ability to follow the safety rules that require being on, t on the top bunk of a bunk bed. Um, so most of the injuries, like I said, are head and neck. A lot of those are lacerations. So one of the safety things that we want to talk about is not having anything near the bunk bed. So having the bunk bed preferably against two walls, so in the corner so that at least two sides are protected. You must also have um, safety rails on either side, even the side of the bed that is against the wall. The slats in the safety rails need to be 3.5 inches or less, and that is to prevent any kinds of injuries from getting in the slats or strangulation from bedding, that kind of stuff that can get tangled in the slats, body parts that can get in there. The um, rails on either side need to be at least five inches above the top of the mattress. That is to keep them from being able to roll over or easily fall over off the top. And don't forget to include any mattress toppers that you happen to put on there, lots of big blankets, that kind of stuff, because that can increase the height, which decreases the, the um, distance between the top of the mattress and the top of the rail. Um, some other things, uh, make sure that the kids understand the rules, no rough housing on them, um, no swinging on them, only using the, la the stairs or the ladders to get up them up to the top bunk. Um, make sure that you're paying attention to the weight limit of that particular bunk bed. Um, especially if your kids want to have sleepovers or you have siblings where several of um, kids might be up there at the same time. Um, you can uh, reinforce the slats underneath, which isn't a terrible idea, um, but you should look into having somebody do that professionally if you're going to do that. And that brings me to making sure that the bunk beds that you're using are made by a manufacturer, not a DIY, because they can't be um, sure that they're safe. They're not safety tested. So you want to make sure that you're using a reputable company to buy these bunk beds from that um, assure that they're safety tested. Um, also talk to your kids about making sure that they're not hanging any toys, ropes, swings, sheets from the sides. Um, a lot of kids will like to be like um, Tarzan swinging off the top. Um, that's super important not to do because it's a huge strangulation hazard. Um, what else? What am I missing? I'm trying to do this super quick. So there might be one or two things that I'm missing safety wise to talk to your kids. If, if I come across that, um, I will pop them down in the comments, but I think I got it all. If you have any other questions about bunk bed safety that I didn't answer in this super duper quick video, um, pop them down in comments and I will answer them as soon as I can. Um, but I'm going to run now, got to head into a shift. So be safe. Hope you guys have a great night. Bye.